Okay, this is part three, I believe. What we're gonna do now, if you've been following along, I have cut two clips in the timeline. Coming from our browser, going to the viewer, and then into the timeline. <clears throat> if you don't know how to do that, go back and watch the other two. So, um, I'm just gonna click spacebar right now. That'll play our timeline. So just two basic clips cut together. <clears throat> One video layer, two audio layers, which I have muted right now with these green, green checks. You can also do this, turn off your video layers. So that's a little tip. Alright, so let's say you got your layers in here. Um, let's learn some, <clears throat> some basic tools for cutting your, your video slash audio slash pictures slash <laughs> a lot of things. So, <clears throat> we'll just go to our toolbar over here. Okay. And what this is, is just kind of a uh, visual layout of some of our tools. Um, <clears throat> I actually don't use this because I use keyboard shortcuts. But, since we're starting out, we'll look at this. Your first one is this arrow. Um, <clears throat> you can see here. It's used by A, so if you push A, it'll select your arrow selection tool. And that's used um, to select things. <laughs> like, I can drag and move stuff around. And I can move individual layers out. Okay. So that's just moving stuff around. Um, selecting things. Clicking stuff to go into the viewer. Stuff like that. Um, so we can go down, you've got several tools, I actually, I don't think I've ever used this tool, so we're not going to go over it, <clears throat> but this next one is pretty useful, um, it gets useful whenever you've got a lot of edits, um, like, your timeline is just full, and basically it's a selection tool so <clears throat> I'm gonna click on it and the shortcut is T but I'm gonna click and hold you can see I have several different kinds <clears throat> so this first one you can see my cursor is an arrow if I click here nothing happens if I click here <clears throat> you can see it's selected everything from where I clicked to the right See, click, click, I'm clicking, and I'm getting, let's put some more clips in here. <coughs> and all of this is basic getting clips that I showed in the first couple of videos. <coughs> now we have more clips. I'm going to choose my track forward tool <clears throat> and you can see wherever I click it selects those clips <clears throat> we also have a track back tool which is just the opposite okay we have a just selection on everything um, you might think why do I need this I can just use the other one and select everything. But let's say you have a bunch of layers, or um, yeah, I mean, once you get a bunch of layers, you might want to just select certain layers with that. We also have um, this next tool, which basically will select everything forward. <clears throat> this is useful when I have a bunch of layers. So let's say these are in a bunch of layers right here, right? So if I just choose my select forward tool, <clears throat> you can see I'm just clicking 
it chooses individual layers. Okay. But if I do select all, see it's got the double arrows on my cursor. It's going to select everything from where I click, no matter where I'm at. You can see it doesn't matter where I click on the timeline. It selects everything from where I click. <clears throat> so that's kind of handy. And then you also have the reverse, which selects backwards. Sucks everything backwards. So, so those are handy. Um, you'll probably use that one. <clears throat> so let's skip the roll tool. I don't use that very often. Slip tool. Um, this one can be kind of confusing. I'm gonna select all these. Actually, let's. I'll we'll just move these clips down into one. <clears throat> one layer. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna drag these out so we <clears throat> can look at this one clip. Okay. So we have one clip on our timeline right here. Let me get a better clip. That one's not a good example. This one will work. <clears throat> so let's look at this clip, right? This guy putting a backpack on. <clears throat> well, if I double click this, remember that I'll open it up in the viewer. You can see I have in and out points on this clip. So there's a whole lot more to this clip. But what we have in the timeline is just right here. Let's say I have a bunch of edits, <clears throat> a bunch of video cut, and I'm like, oh man, I've got everything done. But I just want this clip to start a little later. So I could come in here and add new in and out points and drag it in, but I don't want to do that, let's say. So I can use the slip tool. What this does, if I click right, if I go over here, <clears throat> you can see my slip icon. If I click and hold, you can see this these lines pop up. It's actually a long bar. What that is is showing all of this all of my video okay so if I click and hold <clears throat> if you look at my canvas you can see the in and out points the left the left image is my endpoint of this clip right here the right image is my out point <clears throat> so if I click and hold and drag you can see I'm changing my in and out points and this bar that's dragging in the timeline is my clip length so <clears throat> I'm just gonna click keep clicking and dragging let's say I want to start right here okay so now it, my clip is starting where the two people come in the, the shot <clears throat> okay let's actually let's do it right here so if you see this left image, I'm going to put it right there. I'm just clicking and dragging. So now, you can see if I push play, let's mute my audio. You can see my clip starts right at the beginning of when these people come in. And <clears throat> I didn't have to set new in and out points. I just used my slip tool to click and hold and drag it. Okay? <clears throat> And let's say I keep dragging, okay? Now you can see this part right here. <clears throat> you can see we're coming to the end of the clip. If I keep dragging, I can't drag to the left anymore because I've reached the, the end of my clip. I've reached the end. <clears throat> so I'm gonna undo till we had, yeah, right there. So, that's kind of a nice way to move your clips around <coughs> without having to set new in and out points. Our next tool is the razor blade tool. Um, shortcut B. What that does is this is how you, you know, you cut clips. Okay. I'm going to unmute these. So if I drag over here, you can see I've got the razor blade icon. If I push and click, 
You can see it made a cut. <clears throat> so I can do as many cuts as I want. So I have all these cuts now. Let's say, let's say you wanted to cut the audio and the video. Or you want to cut them individually. See, I can come in here and cut. <clears throat> cut all my audio. But you're like, why do I have to cut them separately? Well, I'm going to undo this real quick. I'm pressing Command Z. Okay. So, let's say I want to make all these cuts, you know, at one time. Well, we can do it two ways. We can go over here to the top. <clears throat> you notice it says linked selection. Right now, when we click on a clip, <clears throat> you can see it only selects the video layer. If we click on the video audio, it only selects the audio layer. But what if we want these to match up? Because, you know, I mean, if we move it, now the audio is not with the video anymore, right? What if we want those to stay in sync? <clears throat> well, we can select them both, or we can go to this linked selection button. If when you push that, now any video that has audio that's tied with it will stay with it when you select it. If I click it, now you can see they both get selected. If I click the audio, now you can see the video gets selected. So anything that has a link with it <clears throat> will stay with it. So now if we go to our blade tool, and we click cut, you can see <clears throat> it cuts both layers. Okay? The audio, video layer and the audio layer. Um, yeah. Ne our next tool is the zoom in tool. I have never used that. Um, <clears throat> what I actually do, um, there's a number of shortcuts you can use. If you push, hold down command on your keyboard <clears throat> and press the plus button, it will zoom in. If you press, hold down command and press the minus button, it will zoom out on your timeline. So I'm doing minus right now. Now I'm really far out. I'm doing plus right now. <clears throat> now I can zoom in. Um, so that's what I use. Um... I guess this could be handy sometimes, but I don't really think it is. I'm gonna click on my selection tool. Um, another awesome shortcut that you have to learn, if you don't learn any other shortcut, learn this shortcut. Well, there's other ones you should learn, but this one's awesome. If you hold down Shift and press Z, you can see, well first, see I've got my timeline selected. See it's highlighted, if I click up here, this highlighted <clears throat> but I've got my timeline selected I press hold shift and press Z you can see that in everything in my timeline is now spread out to where I can see all of it let's drag my clips to the beginning of the timeline so you can see it better so I'm gonna hold shift Z I can see the all my clips everything in my timeline is now centered on my viewer so I can see the end and the beginning so if I zoom out or zoom in really close see now I'm zoom in super far I can press shift Z and everything zooms out so I can see it all at once so if I'm zoomed out shift Z will center everything up so that's good if you have a big edit and you want to see everything at once or you're trying to jump to a certain part um, so that's a really nice shortcut. Shift Z. Remember that. Um, if we go to the viewer, okay, or the canvas, you can also use Shift Z, and you can also use the Command Plus and Minus keys. So I'm gonna do Command Minus. <clears throat> you can see it's zooming out. If I do Command Plus, we're zooming in on the image. We're not changing the scale or how big the image is gonna be when I edit it we're just looking at it okay so I can do this in the viewer too I'm just holding down command and pressing plus and minus <coughs> okay um, I can also use the shift Z to center the image up so I can see the whole image so that's a little fun trick um, 
So that's kind of your basic tools right here. Okay. And that's it for this one.